What's going on YouTube? After a long winter hiatus, I'm finally back. Mustang Gurus. Um, since my last video, I've went a completely different direction as far as my car. Uh, as you guys know, I was working on the 87 Fox body and I've <clears throat> recently sold the Fox body. I got offered me more money than what I had into it. And I hadn't really put any, I hadn't really put much money into it, so I ended up selling it. But, um, as you might have seen in, in that video, um, the whole time I had a 2004 Mustang GT that I had been working on since last year. Um, I just actually got it back from the shop, had some stuff done. I've been working on it for the past year or so. I uh, just got a 1.7 liter Kenny Bell supercharger put on there. Um, pulled that off of a parts car that I bought last year as well, which was an uh, O2 GT with a blown motor. And now, um, I guess my primary project is going to be my O4 GT. Um, because when I had the 87 Fox body, I was trying to take on two projects at once, and it was just too much. And if anybody knows, trying to work on multiple projects, it's just uh, it's a lot trying to work on two projects. So I decided to just focus on my O4 GT and finish that up and see where i go from there um we just got the car tuned i had to end up getting a baseline tune because my tuner said that the pulley on the supercharger right now was making too much boost and he didn't want to risk blowing the engine uh the setup was only made it's only you know depending on what you got done to your motor for a stock engine it's only set to run about 8 to 10 psi so he didn't want to go above that and he said at 4,000 rpms the car was making 13 pounds of boost at 4,000 RPM, so he just did a baseline tune just to get it running right, and uh, I was able to drive it home from the shop, which was about a 25 minute ride, and it did fine. Um, there's still some things that I have to get done to it. Um, I have an exhaust leak uh, where the X-pipe hooks up to the header. I guess the ball socket on the X-pipe is a little, little too small, so I have a slight exhaust leak, and I have to end it up, I have to finish getting, um, I have to finish getting my Gauges installed. Hold on, I'll show you guys right quick. So these are my gauges. This is the gauge pod that I pulled out the O2 GT parts car. Uh, as you can see, it has a boost gauge. It has a AEM air fuel ratio um, gauge as well. So I have to take it back down to the mechanic. He's going, he's going to install the gauges after I get a pillar gauge pop because as you can tell, this gauge pillar is damaged and also it's the wrong color. Look, it was zip tied before. It's been damaged. So I'm just going to get a pillar gauge pop because it doesn't match my interior anyway. It's uh, gray. So it's, it's been broken already. So I'm just going to get a pillar gauge pop instead because the only colors that these come in are gray and black that I've seen. So he's going to finish hooking up the gauges for me so I know how much boost I'm running and also, you know, what my air fuel, air fuel ratio is at all times. And then, um, just got some extra parts left over, some cats, a belt, some extra cast of camera plates. Let's see what else. Um, today I'm going to end up installing my aluminum radiator cover that I bought for the car. Guys, please excuse my garage because it's a hot mess right now. As you can tell, I'm a car guy and I have too much stuff in my garage. It's practically full. So I want to I wanna get a bigger house so I can get a bigger garage because my garage is absolutely full. If I can get it out of the packaging, it's a uh, aluminum a uh, aluminum radiator cover that's going on the car so I'll probably install that today so it's an aluminum radiator cover as you guys can see it's gonna replace that plastic one that's up there I already have a aluminator aluminum radiator expansion tank I replaced the coolant tank with the, from the uh, stock plastic one and then as you can tell over time I've compiled a lot of parts I got some American Muscle AMR drift wheels, two set of drag radios, needle NT55s. I got a set of um, 
373 gears and then also here's the gear install kit right here what else got an extra set of raxium extra set of raxium smoke tail lights which i didn't need the tail lights but the guy was letting the stuff go for such a good price i couldn't let it pass me up but he gave me some other stuff as well i mean i got some uh mgp caliper covers which i won't be using these because i'm running a mach 1 brake setup all the way around so i won't be using these so i just you know even when i'm even from not using these parts i like to compile parts up because i know me i always end up i always i always end up um buying cars and at least i know when i buy a car i got parts you know out of the yin yang so that's just a, you know, I guess you can call it a um, brief introductory. Here soon, later in the video, I'm going to, you know, do a walk around of the car, let you guys see it, uh, let you know what I plan to do on, let, let you know what I plan to do next. Because um, even after all the money I spent in the car, I still have a long way to go. So, guys, stay tuned. You'll be in for a treat. Here are some before and after pics of the old radiator cover. Also, I took off the radio support brackets because they were all nicked up, primed them, and re-sprayed them uh, satin black. And as you can see, the final product looks pretty good. All right, ladies and gents, as I promised, I was going to do a an overview of the car. As you can see, I'm sweating. I just got done putting in the radiator cover. Um, actually, the radiator cover ended up coming out chrome. I thought it was aluminum, but it's actually chrome. So stay tuned. Here in a few seconds, I'm gonna crank the car up and do a walk around for you guys. Give me one second. All right, guys, got the car cranked. Let's uh, take a look. All right, guys, here she is. 2004 Mustang GT, Kenny Bell supercharged. Let's take a look at what some things I've done to her. Here's the radiator cover. Got this installed. Like I told you, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was aluminum, but it's actually chrome. I did an aluminum, I did an aluminum fancy tape. Here's the Kenny Bell Supercharger. As you can see, it has a very loud whine. That's a 75 millimeter dragon throttle body. Uh, I had to get a new inner quarter pump for it, which is right here, brand shaking new. Uh, 47 pound injectors, Kenny Bell booster pump, um, NGK, CR6 plugs. That's running a, uh, 2.25 inch fully right now. I got an SOP Cata X pipe with SOP loudmouth one mufflers. I got Neo NT55 R's on the back, 315s, 275s on the front, 17 inch wheels. Got the Raxim dark smoke tail lights. the interior, I want to put some seats in here, um, as you see I already got the uh, color match shift now, I put the stereo in here, I pulled that billet uh, accessories off of the old parts car, so I got the cup holder insert, the coin, coin holder delete, the um, AC vent knobs, and the uh, headlight knob, all came off the parts car, uh, a little bit of accessories. Fully, I ordered a, a, a three-inch fully Kenny Bell should be in the next week. I'm 
my mechanic gonna install it along with the um, gauges like I told you and fix the exhaust and stuff. It's a pretty loud wine. <laughs> He did a baseline tune, she baseline tuned at 302 horsepower. Because like I said, he couldn't go past 4,000 RPMs because uh, the pulley is on the current was making too much boost. It was making 13 pounds at 4,000 RPMs. But um, a little about the car. Got the car last year, April. Um, paid 3,500 bucks for it. As you can see, the car was in great shape already. Um, I did full suspension on it. Well, not full suspension, but I, I've been working on suspension since I had it. Upper and lower control arms. I got Coney arms, struts. Um, I got a UPR cold loader kit with a uh, tube McKay member underneath the hood. Um, I got some eBay springs off of eBay on the back, which uh, currently has a pretty nice stance. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I have a 95 Cobra R hood going on there. When, um, when I get ready to get the car painted, because the car has some scratches and stuff that I need to... Uh, Perfect, but uh, overall, the car's in pretty good shape, guys. I'm back, guys, came in from working on the car. So, that was just a you know brief overview of some of the things that I've done to the car. Um, as I stated in the video, I apologize. Um, I had music playing, and you know, the car is loud itself, had a very loud wine coming from the supercharger. So, I apologize if you guys couldn't hear me, but. As I said, a little bit about the car. I got the car last year. Um, I think I got it last April. Uh, paid thirty five hundred bucks for it. Uh, the car was in pretty decent shape. Paint job was pretty nice on it. Uh, what else? Um, it had stock wheels on it. So pretty much, I've put wheels and tires on it. I've done suspension, upper and lower control arms, Coney orange struts. Uh, Initially, I had just bought some lower springs off of eBay, which it had a pretty good stance, but once I did the engine engine uh, upgrade, I went with a tubular K member, so I just went with the UPR coilover suspension in the front, and I kept the eBay springs on the back, which I'm not mistaken, they call it Touring Tech, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I got front and rear, I box sway bars, um, what else? I think I'm gonna end up putting a bump steel bump steel kit on it, and then I'm gonna end up putting tubular A arms on the front as well. Um, it has a Mach One brake upgrade all the way around, so it has the 13 or 14 inch rotors, I believe. Um, as far as brakes go, I want to end up putting um, stainless braided lines on there as well. Uh, as far as it, it was done to the engine, like I said, it's a 1.7 Kenny Bell. Supercharger that I got off the parts car with the blown motor. Uh, 47 pound injectors. What else? 47 pound injectors. Um, NGK TR6 plugs. Um, it's a 75 millimeter Dragon throttle body. Also, it has a 90 millimeter mass uh, lightning mass airflow. And then. Um, as far as fuel, Kenny Bell Booster Pump has a 255 pump in the in the, in the tank, which is uh, brand new. Uh, on, other things I had to really get for it was um, I had to get a new, new intercooler pump because the one that was on the car, on a parts car, was too small, nor did it work. So I just went ahead and got a new intercooler pump, a Bosch intercooler pump, the same ones that come on the 2003, 2004 Cobras. Um, exhaust, I had BBK shorties. Made it to a SLP Cata X pipe with SLP loudmouth one mufflers. Um, sounds pretty good. I had an off road X pipe on there before, but it was just too loud, too raspy. So I wanted to put some cats on it, even with the cats, it still sounds great. Um, so please, guys, like I said, I'm new to YouTube, I'm still trying to get, get the hang of it. So if there's any suggestions you think I can make, feel free to comment down below. Um, also, I'm looking for ideas as far as, you know, which way, what route should I take when it you know, comes to the car. Um, I'm always open to ideas. I see plenty of Mustangs on Instagram that, um, you know, catch my eye. Um, different, you know, as far as paint, interior. I'm really looking for some 
for some uh, interior ideas because I rather I rather I would rather have had that interior, but I got the cloth interior in there. So I'm trying to figure out which route I'm gonna go for. Which route will I go as far as um, doing my interior um, seats? I was thinking about racing seats and then also steering wheel. I wanted to put an aftermarket steering wheel on there. So you guys, please um, comment down below if you have any ideas on any nice steering wheels that maybe will match my interior because it's you don't have that tan, sandalwood interior that I had to call it. Um, what else? Um, my head headline is coming down. So I'm going to have to use some uh, spray adhesive and put that back up. And then I wasn't going to touch the back seat, but my kids ride with me sometimes. So I think I'm going to have to end up redoing the back seat as well. Because I think the owner before me had a dog and the dog ripped the back seat up a little bit. It's not bad. It's not really noticeable unless you're really looking at it. But um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to end up redoing the back seat as well. Also, I'm going to put new carpet in it because the carpet, I looked up under the driver's seat. Dirty, dog hair everywhere. So I'm going to redo the carpet, take the carpet out. And uh, put new carpet in there. But like I said, you know, any ideas, I'm open to any ideas that you guys may have. Um, I'm a very open, you know, down to earth guy. So I wouldn't, you know, shoot you down if you came up, you know, with a great idea. Because I'm definitely looking for ideas. Eventually, um, if I keep working on the car, I want to end up getting sponsored by somebody. I would love to get sponsored. I see a lot of guys out here getting sponsored by different companies. So um, that's my goal in the end. Hopefully, gain a couple sponsors. And also, you know, um increase my following on social media as far as youtube and instagram um if you haven't subscribed already the instagram page is, is mustang underscore gurus and if you haven't subscribed to my channel it's mustang gurus make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you liked it if not oh well um i'm gonna wrap it up here guys um for the next video I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet. As I told you before, I'm still waiting on the Kenny Bell. So I'm still waiting on the, on the pulley from Kenny Bell. Upgraded from a 2.25 inch to a 3 inch pulley. Um, Kenny Bell said that I should make you know, about 8 to 10 PSI the range that my tuner wanted. Because like I said, my motor's not built. So he doesn't want to push the motor to the limit and blow it. So waiting on the 3 inch pulley to come. Um, then I'm going to take it back down to my shop and have my guy... My mechanic uh, finished up the exhaust leak, finished fixing that, and installed the wide band, the wide band to the um, H pipe, and hook up the gauges so I can know, you know, um, how much boost I'm running. Also, my air fuel ratio as well. But um, like I said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. You guys, uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If not, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell so you can be notified anytime I upload new videos. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the support.